the election of 1800. Can we get back to politics? Please. Yo. Every action has its equal opposite reaction. John Adams shat the bed. I love the guy, but he's in traction. Poor Alexander Hamilton, he is missing in action. So now I'm facing Aaron Burr with his own faction. He's very attractive in the North. New Yorkers like his chances. He's not very forthcoming on any particular stances. Ask him a question that glances off, he obfuscates, he dances. And they say I'm a Francophile. At least they know I know where France is. Thomas, that's the problem. See, they say see Burr as a less extreme you. Uh, you need to change course, a key endorsement might redeem you. Who did you have in mind? Don't laugh. Who is it? You used to work on the same staff. Uh, it might be nice, it might be nice, to get Hamilton on your side. It might be nice, it might be nice, to get Hamilton on your side. Talk less. Burr! Know what you're against or what you're for. Hey. Shake hands with him. Hey. Charm her. Hey. It's 1800. Ladies, tell your husbands, vote for me. Hey. I don't like Adams. Well, he's gonna lose. That's just defeatist. And Jefferson? In, In love, love with France. France. Yeah, he's so elitist. I like that Aaron Burr. I can't believe we're here with him. He seems approachable. Like who could grab a beer with him? Dear Mr. Hamilton, your fellow Federalists would like to know how you'll be voting. Dear Mr. Hamilton, John Adams doesn't stand a chance, so who are you promoting? It's quiet up the town. Jefferson or Burr, we know it's news, news. Jefferson or Burr, Jefferson or Burr, what if you had to choose? Dear Mr. Hamilton, John Adams doesn't stand a chance, so who are you promoting? What if you had to choose? Well, if it isn't Aaron Burr, sir.